Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. Today I'm here um, with a different problem in the ham radio world. Um, this is my XPR5550. I've had this for at least whatever, four and a half years. Um, she was living in my Jeep, uh, working fantastic. However, during one of our um, road trips, one of our passengers had um, incorrectly entered uh, the passcode um, three times and then that uh, put the radio into a radio locked mode. Um, when it goes into that radio locked mode, uh, the radio becomes practically unusable. Uh, so there's no clear or at least a published way uh, to get it out of the radio locked mode. So I was talking to the uh, dealer where I bought this radio from and uh, he had suggested maybe hooking this up to the CPS software um, and um, and see if the CPS software would allow for uh, punching in the passcode if you know it. In my case I do know the right password so I'm thinking and hoping that this will uh, work. I've never tried this, so this is the I'm doing this real time as I'm uh, shooting this video. Um, so what I have here is the the uh, CPS, uh, rather the programming uh, cable, hooked up to the uh, the mic jack, and that will go into my laptop um, eventually. But before we go there, let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to turn this radio on. Uh, she's totally powered up so let's see so it goes into this logo and then listen for that long beep and then goes into this radio locked mode and and then she's practically dead meaning I there's nothing works on this one so I bet this is a known problem and people must have faced this um, and I'm not the only one I bet. So let's uh, do this one more time so you can hear for or listen for the, um, the long beep there. So with that long beep, uh, <clears throat> uh, it throws this radio locked message and then technically she's dead. So what I'm going to do is uh, give this idea a shot. I'm going to launch the CPS software. Um, I never really migrated to CPS 2.0. I never really felt a need for it. So I'm still living in the 1.0 world. So I'm not sure exactly if this is going to work or not. Uh, but we'll find out together, I suppose. All right, so I'm going to switch gears here um, and cameras, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so when I launched the CPS software, and uh, when your radio is completely plugged in, as you can tell uh, at the very back there, I have it plugged in through the programming cable. The radio shows locked, um, and I've launched the... Um, the CPS software. I'm going to allow for this network to go through, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, so it looks like the software has launched, um, but let's see if I can go in um, and see if I can do a read. I'm going to do a quick read. Well, hang on. Um, so it does ask for. Well, I do have a, I do have two separate passcodes. So just to be clear, right? I don't know if this is really working. Working because, give me a second here. Let me adjust my camera. Um, so. I don't know if this still is working, working because um, I do have a separate code plug passcode, which I'm going to punch here. It's not the same as the radio passcode, so just to be clear. 
So it's reading the radio for sure, and I can see that, which is good news. Uh, what I'm hoping to find out is if I can get to the settings somehow and remove the passcode from the radio. Maybe that'll work. So let me go in to one of these menus. I believe it, uh, it lives in the general settings or someplace. So let me get to that and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's some good news here. So I went into the general settings and then I went into, um, on the right hand pane, uh, go all the way down, scroll all the way down. Uh, and I've found the password and lock section. As you can tell, the enable checkbox is checked and my passcode is in there and I'm gonna blur that out. Um, so I'm gonna uncheck this passcode um, and I'm gonna rewrite this um, um, code plug rather uh, back into my radio and see if this will fix a problem for me. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. Let's go back in here and see if we can write it. And it's gonna ask me for my code plug passcode, which is different again. So that's writing it back to the radio. Good news. And that's gonna go back into program mode in my radio. It's rebooting and hopefully she will let me through. There she is, that worked. That worked really well. Um, that's awesome. So I've been kind of battling this for the last month and a half, maybe two months, trying to figure if there was some sort of a hardware problem or whatever. Uh, so there was one other solution that I had tried earlier to this one, right? And, um, and that is uh, on your Motorola 5550 installation manual um, in one of the pages there, they talk about this emergency switch, right? What it, what it tells you to do is in the back of the radio, in the very back of the radio where, there, where there's that 25 or 26 pin connector, uh, what it suggests you to do is um, it, it asks you to connect the emergency pin, I believe the pin is 23 if I'm not mistaken, with pin number, uh, with the ground pin, I believe that pin is 8 or 18, I have to go back and look. And I tried that and, and I, with the hope that somehow by shorting those two pins that it would activate uh, a bypass into this uh, lock radio lock mode that didn't work so in any case this seems to work fine so I hope this was useful to you all um, it was definitely very very educational for me myself um, so thanks so much for watching we'll talk soon bye God bless